to come and sit with me, sit with me, sit with me. Won't you come and sit with me right here on the rug? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep and crawl them, creep and crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide. Ah, but do not let them in. Hi, Rose Room friends. We're back today, and we're talking about a new color. Blue. Blue. What gave you that idea? What are you wearing? Blue. Blue. What am I wearing? Blue. What is she wearing? Blue. Blue. So we're going to talk all about blue and do some activities with blue. But first, would you guys like to sing the song about your blue shirt today? Yeah. Do you like to sing about your blue hat? Mm-hmm. Okay. What would you like to sing about, Paul? Um, my shirt. Your shirt. Okay. So we're going to pick up Paul. <laughs> you better get ready for a fun ride. Paul is wearing a blue shirt, a blue shirt, a blue shirt. Paul is wearing a blue shirt all day long. Woo! How was that? Good? Okay. Alice, what would you like to sing about? You have a blue hat and some blue pajamas and a blue dinosaur. First, I have a question. Has anybody else been wearing a lot of pajamas during the day lately? These guys have been doing a lot of jammy days. Maybe some of you have too. So Alice is going to sing about her blue dino. Are we ready? Alice has a blue dino, blue dino, blue dino. Alice has a blue dino all day long. Woohoo! So for art today, we're going to show you how to make some blue friends out of something you might have in your house. What's this? A, bag. a paper bag. So we transformed our bag. So it's not just a bag that you put things in. But let me show you what we turned it into. Hello, Rose Room friends! We made this little bluebird out of a paper bag. And we're going to show you how to make a paper bag puppet. You can do one at your house too. Okay. So we'll put our little bluebird friend right here. And the first thing we need to do is get some blue paper, which you are going to cut up. Oh, where did that other one go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Got stuck. Got stuck. So we're going to have you trace your hand and your parents can help you cut it out so you have two blue hands that you then are going to paste onto the back of your paper bag. Okay, so it has to be with the flap here. Alice, would you like to paste those on the back? Okay, and then the next thing is you are going to cut out some little feather shapes with your blue paper. You see this one is kind of like a, kind of like, I don't know what would we call that? A feather. A feather shape, I guess, like a squished oval or something. So Alice, you paste those on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then next, we're going to need a little triangle of paper. Ooh, here goes the marker. Hold on. You want to cut the triangle out of that paper? Use all different shapes to turn your paper bag into a bird. Oh, so look, our bag has wings. It's going to fly. Flap, flap, flap. Okay. Get the goop. Where did the glue go? Right there. Okay. Can I glue it on? Yeah, so Paul's going to glue. Can I put, you want to put it on? Yeah. A little beak right onto the bird's mouth there. Very good. Oh, it's a little sideways. Okay, and who would like to draw some eyes on this? Oh, wait, first we forgot our feathers. In the back of his head, do a little bit of glue. One. Put the little one in the middle. Two. Three. So, Paul, would you like to draw our bird's eyes? And then you can do the feathers. Perfect. So, look, our bird is ready to talk. Tweet, 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 tweet. I like that. And actually, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this bottom because it'll be easier for little hands to fit inside. 
Okay, Paul's gonna do the eyes. So we got ourselves a bunch of different color markers, and that well, I guess they're all the same color. Our favorite color, blue, for today. That one's not working. But blues don't just come in one shade; they come in lots of different shades. So this is kind of like a dark blue, and this is like a lightish blue, like an aqua blue with green mixed in. This is more of a light blue. Oh, well, those look great. So Paul made our bird's eyes. There he is, and Alice is gonna draw some feathers. You could maybe do it up there so they can see you while you're drawing too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of details on. And you can color with crayons, you could do paint, whatever you want. After she's finished there, we're gonna teach you a song to sing with our bluebird puppets. Good, Alice. We'll just do that perfect. Okay, let us test that out. Do you want to use this one for our song? Okay, so we're gonna, you can make your little birds fly around while we sing this. Okay, and the song goes like this. Paul, can you scooch back and get your bird into the picture? Okay, it goes. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, aren't you tired? Woohoo! Okay, and then we're gonna teach you a little um, movement game you can do with that same song. Okay, so Alice and I, are gonna use our bodies and we're gonna become the window. You wanna be the bird or do you wanna be the window? Do you wanna be the bird? Okay, so you need some other friends beside yourself and we're gonna make a window shape with our arms. So Paul and I make the window and Alice is gonna be the blue bird who flies through. Ready, go. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue Johnny, are you tired? And we caught her. Do you want to try it one more time? Or Paul, do you want to be the bird now? No. No? Okay. We'll do one more time. Here we go. We are the window. Go through us, blue bird. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Blue bird, blue bird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, are you tired? Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. She is tired. That was a I'm lot of tired. crawling. Oh my I'm gosh. Tired. Bluebirds are going to go to sleep. So if they're so tired, I want to read you guys a book about something else that is blue. And you might know this one. This was one of Alice and Paul and that Tommy's favorites, especially when they were little. The little blue truck, right, Paul? Okay. So can we see all those animals inside the blue truck? You coming back to listen, Tommy? Yeah. Okay. Horn went beep. Engine purred. Friendliest sound you ever heard. Here goes the truck. Does it look like it's in the city or the country? City. A city? Or yeah. is it out in the nature? Maybe near a farm? Yeah, and the next one, next one. Okay. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep, said blue to a big green toad. Toad said, croak and winked an eye when the little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said, bah. Cow said, moo. Oink, said a piggy. Beep, said blue. Cluck, said a chicken, and her chick said, peep. Ma, said a goat. Blue said, beep. Nay, said the horse. Quack, said the duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. Uh-oh, who's coming through? Honk, yelled a dump truck. Coming through. I have big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. That wasn't very nice, was it? Look, he pushed little blue truck out of the way. Room went the dump around the curve. He saw a puddle. He tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck. And the 
his big important wheels got stuck. No. His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk, cried the dump. He sounded scared. Nobody heard or nobody cared. I don't know if they cared because he wasn't very nice to them, was he? Then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Oh no, they're stuck in all that sticky mud. Yeah. What are they gonna do? I don't know. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, beep, beep. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. The, the truck is their friend, right? Because he was always so friendly to them. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. The goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck. And everybody pushed that little blue truck. So they're all trying to help get him out of that sticky, sticky mud. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but a big green toad? Big oh, muscles. he has big muscles. Does it look kind of strong, Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, he's flexing those big muscles. All together, one, two, three. One last push and the trucks were free. <gasps> Look, they all pushed and both trucks popped out of the mud. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. <laughs> I like this story. I love this story too. Beep, said Blue. Who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ah, moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak. Ma. Beep, beep, beep. And that's the end. There goes the little blue truck taking everybody back to the farm. So I'm wondering if you guys would like to join Alice and Tommy and Paul and I. And we're going to go think a little bit more about the little blue truck when we play in our backyard. So let's think, oh, hold on, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so the big problem in this book was when these the big trucks got stuck in the mud. So we're going to go outside and get a little bit messy. Would you guys like to come with us? Yeah! Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, look what I found. Some blue flowers in our backyard for Blue Day. So we are outside in our backyard now and we are thinking of a way to play, um, thinking about the book we just read, Little Blue Truck. So what did that big truck get stuck in in our book? Do you remember? What was it? Mud. Mud. So how can we make some mud in our garden? We need dirt, right? And then what do you put in it? Water. Water. So Alice here is gonna be my helper. Get a big bucket of water. Oh my goodness, and what did they make? Mud. Muddy, muddy mud. Paul, can you mix that up with your shovel? Wow. It looks so gooey and squishy. Whoa. So we brought out a couple other tools we're going to use today. A car, a blue car. Another blue car. Some of those and put your splash all over it. And a big monster truck. Yeah. A blue monster truck. And Tommy, do you want to put yours in there too? And we're going to see if we can just kind of play with our trucks in the mud and see what happens. Paul, be careful not to splash anybody. I see a bug. I see a bug. You found a bug too? Ah, stop. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <gasps> oh no, the big blue yeah. truck is stuck. Can someone help? Whoa, 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 ow. Don't splash it. We hey. don't want to go this way. Oh, those guys. Hey, stop. Probably oh, be careful, God, please. God, God, God. Tommy, can you fill that one? That's 
thing up with mud and then dump it. I can do that. Guys. Oh my gosh, Tommy's putting the mud in the truck. I can do that. Use your hands no. Hey Polly, can you go get that big board over there and we can drive the trucks down the board? The one that's under the other car? Yeah. Ah. That part's gooey. How does it feel, Tommy? Oh my gosh, look at your muddy <gasps> he hands. He fell over! Ah. So this is just a little area in our backyard we call our mud garden. But it's yeah, just a little me. I'm a turtle! I'm stuck! Soily ah. spot under the tree, and you can find anywhere in just take a little space. Oh, here comes Paul with a piece of wood. Can we make the truck drive down the ramp into the mud? Ooh, yeah. Uh oh. Look at that dirty, muddy blue truck. Where did some of those other little blue cars go? Can we drive them down the ramp? Tommy, can you hand me some of those blue cars? Okay, can you send them down the ramp and see if they can splash in the mud? Paul, don't get anybody wet. Crash. Hey! <laughs> Paul, stop smashing me. Here comes a great big truck. This is a pound noise for this one. This is a pound noise for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these dirty trucks. Just like in the book, right? Are they going to pull the big truck out? Look at the wheels spinning on that dirty truck. Now look at him. Wow. How does that feel, Paul? Is it cold and squishy? It's squishy. squishy. Want to try another one, Tommy? Can I take off my shoes? No, no we're going to leave shoes on. Woo! My feet are getting Mud. Now you can't even see anything. Wow. I think these cars are going to need a bath at some point, huh? Yeah. They look pretty me messy. We need water. Okay, maybe we'll check back in when it's time to clean the cars. Oh my goodness, look at this muddy truck. What does it need now? A bath. A bath. Okay, so where do, should we take it over to the car wash? Yeah. So now we're going to wash our cars off. We've got a couple of bins here. Are we going to first do the rinse? <gasps> Whoa, look at all that mud coming off. Ah, there's blood. Yeah. <laughs> After that, can I do it? Yep. It's cold water. My needs a bath. Yours definitely needs a bath, yes. too. Okay, oh, look at that muddy car. And take it into the soap. Get your hands all nice and clean, too. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at these muddy cars. Tommy, how's yours going? You singing a washing song, Tommy? Into the soap, rinse. Now I need to rinse off the rest of the soap. But there's muddy. Oh, well, just let it air dry. Put it on the towel. 
Mm -hmm. Keep scrubbing. Maybe we need a scrub brush. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Mud my oh, nice. You got a scrubbing brush? I need this for mine. Go. Back into the mud water. Hey, That's okay. Take turns, please. Tom, you can say, when you're finished, may I have a turn? When you're finished, can I have a turn? Sure. It's all silky up. Is this Connor's washing hands? <laughs> well, got them a little cleaner, but we're going to go back in and wash our hands again after this. Good question, though. I'm going to get, after I get this one cleaned, I'm going to get it more dirty. You're going to get it dirty again? Now the scrubbing brush. Okay. Can we see your final clean product there, Alice? Whew! That blue truck is I'm looking rub it off. good as new. Okay. Scrubbing real well there, Tom? Using your muscles? Maybe our Rose Room friends can try this too. Get some of their toys dirty. Or clean them off. Oi, trucks! Mm hmm. Okay, let's see the finished clean product there, okay, Alice. Not ready yet. Not ready, okay. Stuff. Looks like Paul's going back for another dip over there. And then I'm using the ends to get in between the tire treads. What is that? Just the gate creaking. Okay. Let me see that clean blue truck, Alice. I'm not ready. Na, 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 na. I'm getting the best so clean. I can't find my little truck. No. Mom, can I um, jump out the water because I can't find We'll reach in there, Polly. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, Alice, can you flip it over just so I can see it before we go back in? <gasps> Good as new. There's still bubbles everywhere. Let's keep playing. Maybe you'll get it dirty again. No. Okay. Clean. See you back inside. Wasn't that fun playing with Alice and Paul and Tommy outside in the mud? Maybe at your house you could take some of the toys that you play with inside and bring them outside and see what different ways you can play. And then you just have to make sure to wash your hands when you come back inside. Um, we're going to read one more book to finish up our blue day. And this one is called In a Blue Room. And this is about a little girl who does not want to go to sleep. So let's hear about how the color blue plays into this one. In a blue room, Alice bounces wide awake past bedtime. She just does not want to go to bed. She's got too much energy for that right now, huh? She's bouncing, not ready to calm down yet. Time for bed, Mama says. I've brought flowers for your room. I can only sleep in a blue room, says Alice. And blue is my favorite. And those aren't blue. Ah, but smell, Mama says. Maybe the nice smell of those flowers will make her a little sleepy. I don't know. Just right now she's bouncing very, very high. In a blue room, lilacs and lily whites give off a gentle scent. Alice twirls around, plops down, and breathes deep. Those flowers smell very good. Mama returns with a steaming cup. Would you like some tea? Blue tea, says Alice. There's no such thing. Mama says, just taste. Maybe the blue tea will help her feel calm. In a blue room, orange tea cools in a brown cup. Alice takes a sip, then rubs her drowsy eyes. Well, I think she might be getting a little bit more sleepy. Sometimes the warm tea, having something warm to drink makes you feel a little bit more calm. 
Mama brings an extra quilt. It's silky, soft, and warm. It isn't blue, says Alice. Mama whispers, touch. I'm just laying down under that nice, cozy quilt. That's a green quilt. In a blue room, a quilt of red and green feels warm and cozy. Alice snuggles up. Just getting cozy under all those blankets. I love feeling cozy in my bed. Mama tiptoes in. I have lullaby bells to sing you to sleep. Blue, sighs Alice, only sleep blue. Mama smiles. I think Alice might be finally getting a little bit more sleepy. Her eyes are starting to close. In a blue room, yellow bells on black strings chime softly in the window breeze. Alice yawns. Almost gone. The moon. Mama, Alice murmurs. Mama whispers. Here it comes. I'm just going to turn off the light. Click. <gasps> off goes the lamp. And in comes the moon, bathing everything in its pale blue light. Blue flowers. Blue tea. The whole room looks blue, doesn't it? <gasps> blue quilt. Blue bells. The whole world is turning blue, just like Alice loves. Blue moon. And Alice falls fast asleep. in a blue room. I really love that book because it makes me feel so calm and kind of ready to go to bed. And this, you know, when I read this, it reminded me of something that we do in the Rose Room when we want to feel calm. So sometimes when we want to come back from the gym and our bodies are really full of energy still and we need to calm down a little bit, we sometimes take a cleansing breath. And I, and, uh, I actually remembered as I was reading this book that sometimes some of our friends say, let's do a blue breath, which I think is really fun because blue makes me feel calm too. And I think I remember Kate always saying, let's do a blue one when we do a cleansing breath. So maybe should we do a cleansing breath together right now? Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, deep breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Deep breath in and out. That makes my body feel so much better and so much more calm. And sometimes, especially now when we can't always, you know, go outside and play with our friends and do the things we want to be doing, sometimes it can be hard to feel calm. But if you remember to do your cleansing breaths, that sometimes can help us to feel better. Okay, so I hope that you guys can think of some blue things you might want to share with us later on the Flipgrid. So we'll send out a link and your parents can uh, send a video of maybe you showing some of your favorite blue things. But for now, I'm going to sing the goodbye song. Okay? Uno, dos, tres. Adi, 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 adios. Adi up above, adi down below. Adi from your nose down to your toes. Singing adi, 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 adios. Goodbye. I love you and I miss you and I will see you soon. Bye.